<laughs> really? Is that your way of saying I'm loud? Yes. Mm. <laughs> a woman, a woman just called me loud. Pot, kettle, you're really black. That's all I'm saying. I'm That's all I'm loud. saying. Right? No, not loud. You're not as an black individual. either. It's true. Not loud as an individual, but women are loud. Not as really. A I'm black. That's why I tell some of my students. What? Really? Say, so, yeah. I just really ashy. That's as I say. Say, I got some lotion. So I really Ruth, ashy. You want to go ahead and go get some dinner and leave this conversation now before it gets really uncomfortable for the rest of us. I want you to know we've been on the air for about thirty I seconds. I know. I know. I know. I like to sneak that stuff in. There. I know that look in your eye when you when you <laughs> tried to snipe us onto the air. All right, now let's let's just go ahead and get to it because we all know what we want to talk about. Sports. Sports. Let's we always do sports this out real quick. We always do sports second segment. All right, so. What have you got to tell us about the Masters? Okay, well, first of all, if you watch the Masters this weekend, it, it was a really good tournament. As far as watching golf goes, it doesn't get much better. Uh, meaning my blood pressure was somewhere around... Except for the WNBA. Golf. golf? Well, you said it doesn't get much better. I mean, you want really good sports, you got to go to the WNBA. No. They... The women's... Yeah. Okay. I, I was doing not, that difference to you, Brooke. You're not, you're not selling it. It's not working. I don't... I'm not buying it. Well, I... Never mind. I was going to say something. No, yeah, go on with the matches. That's probably better than you should. I was going to um, point out why, but go ahead. The, uh, <coughs> but anyways, the Masters, of course, the uh, the return of Tiger Woods yes. from uh, five months. Uh, he was away for something. I don't know what happened. Uh, five months now, he, uh, he's he been away from the sport of golf. He comes back. He shoots an 11 under after four rounds. Not does, bad for being off as long as he well. was. Yep. Yeah. He was in contention. I heard, did he have a hole in one? No, no, no. There were two hole in ones on 16 on the third day. Okay. And uh, they were. They he were did have some incredible. eagles. He had a he had a uh, a shot in from like 90 yards out. That was pretty incredible. It it just hit the green just perfectly and just like his shot on 16 about in 2005, the last time he won, which was like a famous internet video clip. It just. Uh, what are you doing? I, I, oh, I you. Should. Can't get anywhere with these people. Go ahead. Anyways, his, his ah, shot on 16 ah, in 2005 was incredible, and then uh, his shot on I, I can't even. I think it was on eight this year. It I'm was, doing this because <laughs> this thing's got to pick up, you know. So we're talking about Tiger Woods Eagles. Well, hold on, hold on. It's, it's sports. So Phil Mickelson wins his third. It's match. golf. It's not a sport. It is a sport. You have played it. I used to drink. Beer when I played this thing, you know. Curling's a sport. You can smoke. You a got another guy. And like, and do that. You got another guy on your car, on your you cart, okay? Not at the same time. And so you only bring one set of clubs because that leaves room for the cooler. That's right. On the back of the cart, so that you can drink yeah. your Bartles and James wine coolers, and that's sort of thing. You, These guys you get have three caddies. sheets to the they wind by the time you reach 18th hole. But anyways, I, I remember the uh, the uh, the superintendent for education in Berkeley County. We're going way back. I did this. This was like 30 years ago. God rest his soul. But he used to ride around with a with a, a teacher friend of mine, uh -huh. and uh, uh, she, she uh, was a lovely, lovely black woman I know. Uh, she was such a good friend. We talked together for years. But she loved Champagne, and so he would want to ride with her because he knew she had a cooler full of Champagne. So the superintendent of education at this. Science teacher school are riding around this golf course, knocking champagnes back oh, and, get, no. and just getting beschnickered and having one hell of a good time. Champagne and it's called champagne. I have so no idea what's in it. Like you might as well ask what's in Boone's Farm Strawberry Hill. Uh, it doesn't even have strawberries in it. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's kerosene. Your your pillow. Your your. Oh oh oh. Oh man. Oh man. Oh. Go ahead. The set is falling apart. <laughs> there okay, we go. Anyways. Uh, so that covers the Masters. Congratulations to the lefty, Phil Mickelson, for his third Masters Double jacket lefty. in 10 years. I don't think he means political. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I, sports, for God's sake. I was listening to Dabo Sweeney today on the radio. Why uh, were you doing that? Well, they just had their spring game. That's disgusting. No, no, no. Dabo Sweeney, you know, no, uh, he's football. very, he's, he's actually quite pleased with how the Clemson Tigers are coming along in the spring practice. He thinks that they're way ahead of where he expected them to be. Right. The and, coming season. and you do know Mark Coney is still up there at Clemson. Right. By the way, Mark, if you're listening, we're saying hello to you. Get a job here, and so that game. you can come back. Because we don't have an engineer. Brooks all Fox sorts of things. Single. <laughs> That's as, true. As far as we know, and he's an engineer. He's going to make a lot of money, and he's young. You can train him. Don't forget. I think our absolute favorite um, uh, rumor has it, and we're going to be getting back to a lot of these things. I'm going to spend. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a lot of writing this summer. Sure. But I think our favorite one was the time we said that Mark Coney was the was the secret love child. 
of Cher and Henry Fonda, wasn't that what it was? I think it was, yeah. yeah. And he, don't, he had no idea who Henry Fonda was. But he looks he looks like that would be possible. He looks that way. He I said, well, what's, who's Henry Fonda? I said, if you get a chance to see Drums Along the Mohawk with Henry Fonda and Claudette Colbert, watch that because that's you. That's your and dad. And I actually got to see it. And he was rather pleased. He liked that. All right, so real quick, NCAA men's basketball goes down to the wire. Butler versus Duke. Oh, man, Duke I was Katie rooting for home. Butler. Was, of course you were rooting for Butler. It's the underdog story. Butler had they nothing. They so close. They had nothing to be ashamed of. It was a fantastic game. The only basketball game in my life I've ever been able to sit through in its entirety. It was amazing. So good job to Butler. Congratulations, Duke and Coach K. This on a may have been the, this may have been the best NCAA March Madness tournament I of think. all time. Oh yeah, yeah. With the upsets and everything else, I just love it. You had two two number five seeds make it to the final four. And a lot of people are going, "What NBA?" Because oh, yeah, well, college basketball is. I all said what NBA was. years ago. Oh, I lost course, interest in the NBA. Okay. So long ago. So we've got to transition the segment. I've got to guide you or else your tangents will last forever. So we're going to go into what we call rapid fire reviews. And you have a couple things you need to talk He's about. He's calling the segment off. No, I'm not calling the segment off. But we, we wanted to cover all this in one segment unless you want to switch. Oh, no, no. We're going to we're gonna, for the sports. We'll come back to you. Okay. Video. Oh, thank God. Because we were going to run clear out of here. Oh, no, no. We, we're going to come back so, to you. Uh, Major League Baseball has opened that's up. That's right. There is a God. He is in his heaven. Mm -hmm. uh, you can Paul tell I'm right a huge world. baseball fan. I love baseball. It's a great sport. Uh, I share that same sentiment with a comedian. Mm -hmm. What was that guy's name who had the seven dirty words? You could say it. Tell George, George, George Carlin. Carlin. George yes. Carlin felt the same way about baseball. Baseball is just, it's, and it's a very American sport. It you really know, is. You know who else? Uh, another comedian who's very funny who loves baseball. Robert Wall, he played Arliss on that HBO show. I don't oh know yes, 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 Robert I remember Wall that. Robert Wall is hilarious. He once did yeah, a, very funny. He once did a comedy batting lineup, right, where he just picked the comedians he would want in his order if he had to select nine comedians. What's this actor's name? Robert Wall. You saw Bull Durham, right? Yeah. Well, it's that Robert Wallace is the one who, where the manager goes, "You lollygag when you go out on the field." You lollygag when you go out the field. He turns and goes, what's that make him? And this guy, this actor, goes, lollygaggers. Lollygaggers! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, oh, he's, he, he was a genius. And he did a couple comic relief appearances that are just uh -huh. legendary. His, his batting lineup, batting cleanup, was Jews. Just Jews. For stand-up comedy. That's it. Batting cleanup, Jews. <laughs> it was like Lenny Bruce, Richard Pryor, George Carlin, Jews. And then like five other comedians that he would yes. run in the lineup. And his... His joke telling and his timing is incredible. So, you share the love of our national pastime with some very, very good company. Oh, uh, guys, just I, and I haven't been to a game yet. I've watched a little on TV, but I'm telling you, last year didn't go to a single game. Really? In my entire life, I think it's the first time I ever went. I was so busy setting all this stuff up and working on this stuff, I never even got to a game. But this year, I am going to the River games. Dogs. Oh, River Dogs. I'll go to a high school game. You know, um, the James Island High Dogs? School is back. Well, they used to be a perennial powerhouse in the state. Yeah. And then they were down for a while. We won't discuss why, but they were down go for a while. <laughs> and uh, uh, now they're back. Down is kind of a funny way to put it. Yeah. Uh, the um, <clears throat> the uh, College of Charleston baseball team doing pretty well as well. They were, mm. they're, not, they're not great, but, I mean, they've had some good games against some I'll strong tell you, teams. Well, I'll tell you who's a surprise. You're South Carolina because they're so young. And the they're, Citadel. They lost so many players. The Citadel is amazing. They're on fire. Oh, they're, they're just pitching. tearing up the Southern oh, Conference. God. South Carolina. Well, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? <laughs> South Carolina and Vanderbilt was just played each other this weekend. I think yeah. South Carolina lost two out of three to Vandy. Oh. You can't win every series. No. But, uh, those, but, but there, there's very little scoring winning. in those games because South Carolina, strangely enough, as young as inexperienced as their team is, along with Vanderbilt, they're the top pitching ERAs in the so Southeastern Conference. Wow. And, of course, uh, the Southeastern Conference is not only the perennial a football comics, but it's also the perennial baseball comics. Right. I'm afraid we've run out of time. Uh, oh we're going to have to leave here. We'll be right back. We're going to do some restaurant and movie reviews for you. Absolutely. So we'll be right back with CobertRadio.com.